Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another Thursday's video. Today is going to be a new type of video. It is going to be a tag and <laughs> tag. It is going to be a tag video. Uh, this is my very first tag that I've ever done. My very new friend Jonathan Curtis on YouTube tagged me. I'll link his channel below. And this is going to be the beauty scenario tag. It's been pretty popular lately, so I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen it. Basically what it is, is a series of questions asking you what you would do in particular situations that had to do with beauty catastrophes, per, so to say. So I have the list on my phone here and let's get started. Scenario number one, you have to get rid of all of your foundations so you can only keep one high-end one and one drugstore. First off, that would be terrible, um, but if I had to, if that really came down to that, I have two easy picks for you guys. These two right here are the winners. Um, I would have to go with the Chanel Vital Lumiere Aqua and the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder. Uh, the Chanel Vital Lumiere is a favorite by everyone. You guys, I'm sure, have heard tons and tons of things about it. It goes on very smoothly. It's water-based, so it doesn't really break me out. It has beautiful coverage, and it smells like a really nicely scented perfume. So that might bother some people, but I personally like it and it just gives really nice coverage that looks very natural. This is basically a dupe for this almost in my mind, except for consistency. This is like water when it comes out, but they dry in the same way, same type of finish, um, and very easy to blend. I like both of them, and this is significantly cheaper, so these are my two. Scenario number two. You go for an interview, and the lady interviewing you has lipstick on her teeth. Do you approach the subject or ignore it completely? I'd say ignore it because you don't know, she may seem all nice and whatnot, but like it, people have to be nice during interviews. When you leave that office door, you don't know that she'll be like, mm, that girl. Scenario number three, you're not feeling yourself and need to pick me up. Which lipstick do you put on to make yourself feel beautiful? I don't particularly, I don't really wear lipstick on a regular basis, but if I were doing, um, like, a look for you guys on YouTube or Beautylish, the Marc Jacobs Lip Lacquers would definitely be my go-to products. Um, I only have this one shade, but from what I've seen swatches on YouTube, I would imagine all the shades are pretty beautiful. This one in particular, I love. It just goes on so smoothly. It has, oh, it smells like vanilla, but, like, vanilla cookies, not like vanilla scented things, like vanilla cookies, it smells so good. Um, it doesn't taste like vanilla, which probably is a good thing, because I totally just eat it. Number four. You go back in time for a day to do your teenage years, how would you do your hair and makeup differently? Um, hair, I would definitely have to change my hair, because when I was growing up, I always wanted brown hair. I, had, I was adopted, if you guys didn't know, and I had siblings who all had brown hair, so I'd always wanted brown hair my whole life. So that being said, I always dyed it using like those drugstore dyes, and it was that really stereotypical Asian orange color when Asians don't want to bleach their hair and just put brown straight on top. It, it, it doesn't work. It just makes your hair orange. Um, and I'll actually put a picture of that right here. Yeah. Really bad. Um, it was a really bad stage in my life. Now, oh, natural, very, very, very dark brown. My hair is not black. Um, it's extremely dark brown. It's not black. But, so that's that. My makeup, I w haven't really changed that much from when I started doing my makeup. Um, I started modeling when I was three, and very early on they started doing my makeup on set and I would have it done when not I would ask questions about what they're doing so I learned the techniques and tricks to do it and I started doing my makeup on the regular probably in seventh grade I want to say so it's been it's been a really long time since I've been doing my makeup so n not too much has changed in that regard so basically just don't dye the hair that is what I would tell myself so scenario number five you ask your hairdresser for a shoulder length pixie lot haircut but they hear wrong and give you a pixie cut. <gasps> that would be terrible. Do you A, smile, say thank you, and leave, call your mom hysterical, B, cry in the chair and things get awkward, or C, complain to the manager and demand a refund? I probably would talk to the manager first of all and be like, this is not what I asked for. And 
Second, I I don't know that I would demand for a refund. I might say the next time I come in, can I get a compliment? No, I, I wouldn't be going back there, first of all. So, moot point. Your friend surprises you with a four-day city break. -in. What is a city break? Like, is it a is it leaving the city for for four days or is it going to the city? I don't know. And you have one hour to pack. Which do-it-all palette do you pack in your makeup bag? That is a very easy choice because there is no other palette that does it all like the 252 palette by Coastal Scents. The pigmentation is here. I don't care what any reviews online say. I have swatched every single one of these with a primer and without a primer. They have incredible pigmentation. I don't care which color you're using. It's I don't know what it is about this palette. And it's like $30. It has 252 eyeshadows, so no matter what the occasion or the look, you have it. Your cool tone palette, your warm tones, and your everything else palette. Question number seven. Your friend, your how, <laughs> your friend, your house has been robbed. Don't worry, everyone is safe, but your beauty stash has been raided. What's the product you really hope is safe? Um, it would have to be my Sephora brushes because they were limited edition, so I wouldn't be able to get them again, and they were a gift. Um, and I use the powder and the contour brush every single day to do my makeup. They're my two favorite face brushes. The set looks like this. It comes in the little acrylic case. Um, I still think, I think they still make the one with the acrylic case, the acrylic stand, but not with the chrome ferrules. I think they have, um, like, multicolored rainbow ferrules, so the chrome, I think, is not available anymore, and these are my favorite brushes, so if anyone out there is going to rob my apartment, just don't, don't take these. Scenario number eight, and the final scenario. Your friend borrows your makeup and returns it in awful condition. Do you A, just pretend you haven't noticed, B, ask them to repurchase it, or C, secretly do the same to something of theirs? <sighs> if you borrowed my makeup and you ended up breaking it, I would most likely ask you to repurchase it if it was something that was like cheap and not too expensive. Like if you broke one of my favorite eyeshadow quads, then from CoverGirl or something like that, then yeah, maybe I'd ask you to get me a new one. But if it was something really expensive, I probably would not ask you to replace it because as a makeup artist, I spend a lot more money on makeup than most people do. So I wouldn't really be able to consciously ask someone, hey, can you go spend $60 on me because you broke my um, ambient lighting palette, which had three powders, you know, like that doesn't make sense to someone else, so I don't think I'd be able to ask them that. Um, so, yeah. So, guys, that concludes the beauty scenario tag. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed filming it. Thank you, Jonathan, for tagging me in this. I, again, I had a lot of fun. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys do that and enter my giveaway. I'm giving away the Juice Beauty Blemish Clearing Serum. There's one more week to enter that. I already reached 100 subscribers, so thank you guys so much. I'm really excited to be giving away this product to one of you, so thank you so much. And I will see you on Monday for Monday's eye look and also for next Thursday's video, which is going to be my product empties, which was going to be today, but I did the tag instead. So I'll see you guys then, and thanks. Bye. Tag that heavy, that heavy. Parker guy. No, that's not what I should say. So I have just said so like five times in a row. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, what am I looking at? Even out just the lashes so you don't see those patches in between is just taking a brown eyeliner, not a black eyeliner, and lightly going on your waterline.